Good morning. Another beautiful day in the neighborhood. Birds are out. It's rained last night. Stopped now. Looking good. Gonna get some work done. Gotta keep hustling on this little shed to tiny house. Well, first things first, I got a hold of Swiss Madison, the manufacturer of this wall hung toilet and they were pretty easy to work with. They said the part's on the way. Love it. If you watched the video last week, you'll know we took a few days off and had us a little adventure out in South Dakota. That was fun. Gosh, the birds are going nuts. I think what I'm gonna do is finish the um, vertical boards in the inside gable. Let's get it. Well, let's see if I can do this without making a huge mess. Because the spaces that needed to be insulated in these gables was so, you know, different and cut up and chopped up, I just decided to use the spray foam. I thought it would be quicker and, you know, it probably was. So far, so good. I like it. I think it's working. It didn't take long. I don't even know how I did that. Alrighty then, I got it. Yay! I think it's gonna be cool. Kind of hawk outside my window. I like doing the uh, odd, peculiar things that are not normal. When you're building a normal house with normal techniques and normal building style or whatever, you're not going to have all these weird, odd things that little problems that need to be solved. Like, but this was a shed and we're turning it into something else. So I found some plywood that matched the ceiling. And I like solving those little problems like that and just making things work. For the corners, I just took some old cedar deck boards, the same one I've been using for everything. And I just put some 45s on there, made it about three eighths of an inch thick. And I think that is gonna look awesome. 
I like it. There you go. Boom. Let's nail it. <laughs> yeah, I like that look. There we go. Nothing a little caulk and paint can't fix, right? I like this light. I've had it for, I bet I've been toting it around for 20 years. It's solid brass, so I liked it right away because just because of that. But Jan ain't too fond of it. I wonder if she'll let me get away with keeping it in here. We'll see. <laughs> These things have been bothering me for a while. They just need a little something, something, don't they? <laughs> How about a little? A little black spray paint, maybe? Yeah, that helps a lot. Yeah, much better. Awesome. Had just enough. Yay. Yeah, there we go. Much better. I really like this dark, what is it, magenta? I don't know. Maybe even a little bit darker. The darker, like right here. Oh man, my finger's way on. The, the darker, the better. Hmm. So, I was getting spray foam. I went ahead and got a quart of paint. I mean, it almost looks black, but it's actually magenta. You can't s maybe see it, but it is. What I'm going to do is uh, thin it down. It's a, a latex water base. I think I'm going to thin it down, make a latex stain. What I plan to do is paint those vertical boards white and off white, and the ceiling right there and off white. And then these trusses, I'm going to try that dark. Um, magenta color almost it's almost black but there'll be just a tad of color in it I think it's gonna look good like them flowers we'll see if it don't work I'll paint it something else all right see this is a lot purpler when it's wet but like I showed you when it dries it's really dark that's the same paint that's wet and that's how it dries so I think it's gonna work so what I did is I thinned myself out some just a little bit and try to make a stain out of it and I just want to test it on a, a dirty piece of wood which this is really close to the uh, the trusses that I do want to be staining so I just want to see what it's gonna do that is thinned down to make like a latex stain and we'll see what happens well, it dried down nice and dark, and you can just barely see a hint of purple, magenta, whatever. But I think the color is right. It's what I was looking for. But I don't know if I want to use this as a latex stain and put a clear coat over it or just use just paint it. I think I might just paint it and put a nice thick coat on. To cover this crack right here, I'm going to cut a piece of 2x4 some older stuff that'll match the trusses, like this right here. And I'm gonna cut it about an inch thick, like that, so the same exposure. To me, that just adds. That's that's the perfect piece of trim to go along with what I'm after. Same thickness, same depth. Yep.
gonna look good. Those garlics don't look so good. These look good. They look like they're growing. Yeah. Something's eating my peppers. Probably Way deer. Way back, oh, months ago, I planted moonflowers and gourds. The gourds didn't make it, but the moonflowers did. Man, those things are cool. Awesome. <laughs> Look at that. Those were like a foot tall. They grew that much in a year. But these things, they're ridiculous. They're like six feet tall now, these white pines. Won't be long, they'll be blocking the view from the road, which is cool. I love it. Can't believe how big they're getting or how big they've gotten. Yep, they're doing great. All them little trees. So much work to do on the little tiny shed. Just little piddly things that all have to be done. But it's coming together. It's been fun. I'm enjoying working on it. I know it's getting old. It's taking forever. I wish the toilet part would come so I could finish that. That would be cool. <laughs> maybe, maybe today. That looks like, I guess that's what's goldenrod. So that's a fall flower. So well, here we go. Yep. Let's say summer's on the way out. Everything's looking good. Check on the creek. Wow, looking good. Rained last night, but it it's pretty clear. It was muddy this morning, but it didn't take long to go away. Sure is looking good. So we got a present from someone, Patsy, who loves the channel. And she made this for the little tiny house. And that is cool, like a towel rack. And well, show me that, Jan, what's that? This one goes up here. So this, and three, got three of them. So these giant crystal Door, are the doorknobs. Like. They're they're like towel holders. Yeah. Wow! And then, and how cool is that? And then the and small ones, ones are gonna go there. That is so cool. That's yeah. off. That's awful nice. Thanks, Patsy. So she thought that you can drill, drill the holes. Sure. Love to. Because these are gonna be a little long. Yeah. And cut it off. And so. then what else did you bring me today from the mail? Oh, oh, Mr. Lee, we got the um, part to the toilet. Yay! I can put the toilet together. I'm so happy. <laughs> Made his day, Mr. Lee. Woo! Well, I'm up bright and early this morning. Toilet part. Wall hung toilet. Yay! Maybe it'll fit. It'll be the right part. Wouldn't that be awesome? Let's just see. Sure would be nice. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Awesome. The piece fit. Now to turn the water on. Okay. That was easy Moment of truth. It's filling up. We're going to see if it shuts off. Please, please, please. 
Ah, that's the sound I was looking for. Yay! <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> All right, now I just got to put the mechanism together. Oh man, that's just great. Yay! That makes me happy. Okay, that was just a bunch of plastic parts that kind of snapped together. Let's give her a shot. Yay! That's your small flush. <laughs> Boy, am I glad that thing's over with. I probably should have made these boards tighter, but I don't mind trimming around it. And yeah, I just wasn't sure how that worked. I've never seen one of these before. <laughs> Let's try this. Big flush. Woo! Okay, I love it. What? What? What'd you say? I said I reckon it works. Yay! <laughs> we'll flush it and test it. That was your small flush. What about your big one? Woo! Big flush for a big job. <laughs> it's been a heck of an adventure putting that little wall hung toilet in, but finally it's all come together. It's working great. <laughs> Thanks for coming along. See you on the next one.